Well, you know, February is heart month, and believe it or not, heart problems can show up in unexpected ways. So we have Bonsacor cardiologist Dr. Andrew DeNazareth here to walk us through the red flags to really watch for. Thank you for joining us. Of course, thank you for yeah. having me. You know, whenever you're watching, focus yes, focus on Heart Month, but whenever you know you watch TV or movies and someone's having a heart attack, they always say, oh, oh, you know, they grab the heart oh, and yeah. it's, but that's not always really associated with heart problems. Like, it's not gonna be like, it's not always like, a, oh, a sudden stabbing mm -hmm. pain. No, it's not the only symptom, you know, but um, cardiology, you kind of divide the symptoms into the plumbing system, which is the coronary arteries and the chest pain and you know, sudden pressure on the chest. Um, you can also get pain that goes down the neck or into the shoulder blades. You can divide it then into the pump or the, you know, the ability of the heart muscle to pump. Mm -hmm. And the symptoms associated with that or failing heart would be you know, shortness of breath and leg swelling and swelling around the belly, especially shortness of breath if you try to lie flat and then you realize you cannot lie flat, you've got to sit up, that's a model. Really? That's a, that's a that would, okay, that's, yeah. because, you know, we've done the, you know, y'all told us about like the stair test. Oh, One yeah. time you wanted like to go up the stairs a certain amount of time and. and right, so if you're used to a certain amount of, um, you know, physical ability, and you realize that what you were used to suddenly becomes a lot harder to reproduce, and if you could walk a block on level ground and have no trouble with it and suddenly you're barely able to walk half a block and you're really short of breath with that, that could certainly be a marker for your heart. So doctor, when we know it's just like us getting out of shape versus it's like this you need serious. to do something, go to the cardiologist, go right. to the hospital, when do you know that it's that sense of urgency that something is wrong? So that's important, yes. A lot of times, you know, it could be just deconditioning, like <laughs> you said, getting out of shape. and. Most of us know if we haven't been doing what we should do in terms of activity, and, but uh, there's a distinct difference between you know, a significant sudden onset of shortness of breath or chest pain or tightness with any little activity. Um, that's definitely something not right, and you have to listen to your body then. Another big one would be sudden fainting spells. Oh. If it's uh, or passing out suddenly, that's a problem with the electrical system of the heart, mm -hmm. or uh, racing heart rates, palpitations, so big important things to look at. If you have any of those, you know, get in touch with us. And of course, everyone's talking about heart health right now, but you know, with Damar Hamlin, with cardiac mm -hmm. arrest, people were using the term cardiac arrest and heart attack and uh, interchangeably, and that's not the same. It's not, I mean, um, cardiac arrest is actually the arrest or the inability for the muscle to pump. And the muscle is driven by an electrical system and a plumbing system. So if it's a blockage in one of the arteries, that causes a typical, what people call heart attack or myocardial infarction, that could then in turn cause the electricals to go haywire and something called ventricular tachycardia, which we presume happened to you know, Mr. Hamlin and took him down that way. Mm -hmm. But many other causes for electrical abnormalities. I mean, some of it is genetics, you're born with it. Uh, some of it is because of the weakening of the heart muscle that then leads to the electrical issues uh, or a, a punch in the chest at the wrong moment, you know? Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't even think, I didn't, I didn't I didn't think, think about that. that. Yeah, like because you disrupt it. the electrical yeah. system. Yes. So, you know, for heart health, because I mean, it is one of the leading causes of death for men and women. Right. We don't want that to be like, oh, great. There are things you can do to kind of help your chances and do better. Is it oh, really? Absolutely. Food, diet, exercise, lifestyle? I think lifestyle measures are probably at least 50%. Mm -hmm. So we always really push that because if you know if we keep ourselves active and we're getting close to 150 minutes a week of you know active cardiovascular exercise it really makes a difference as to how we do you know with regards mm -hmm. to any sort of heart disease for that matter and of course eating right is sensible you know um, portion control and it makes a difference down the road and most people know what to eat and what not to eat uh, um, it's not easy though. There's always <laughs> not, good food around, right? Right, <laughs> especially so, here in Greenville. You, you know, but but I saw. I mean, I thought it was so true. It was like, yeah, it's not easy to eat right and to force yourself to exercise. But you know what else is not easy? Being strapped to like a hospital bed. Absolutely, and, and right. being, you know what I mean. So it's like, think about the alternative. Prevention is always better than cure. Right. I mean, we always say, get your basic labs done at least once a year. You know, make sure your cholesterol's checked. Make sure your liver and kidney functions are good. 
uh, just make sure in general that if your baseline numbers look good, in general you do well. See, I like that. So if you go for your you know, physical every and year and you do all those right. numbers, it's a good those screen. are good. And if there was something that could possibly be wrong, doctors could you know, start could to see it there. We could pick up on those, absolutely. And speaking of the, like yeah. screenings, you guys have a free heart screening on the 21st. Uh, from 7 a.m. until 9 a.m. and that's at the Bontacool Wellness Arena. So that's free and that's big to be able to make sure it's accessible yes. to everyone. People should make use of that opportunity and yeah. you know use it for sure. What will they What will they do at the screen? Uh, most of all, at screenings, they could get an EKG to get an idea of the electrical system, whether you're out of rhythm or in the normal rhythm, whether you have any potential markers that you could be at risk for a heart attack down the road, or if you've already had a silent heart attack before. So it's very helpful just to get a baseline EKG. Simple things like making sure your blood pressures and mm -hmm. heart rates are you know, within the normal range can go a long way down the road. Of course, there's a lot of other screenings that are available, including checking the carotid arteries, you yeah. know, ensuring that the echocardiogram, that's an ultrasound scan of the heart to make sure the pump is good at the heart. It depends, and they'll direct you accordingly depending on what you need to have screened. Happening on the 21st at the Bonsacor mm -hmm. Wellness Arena at 7 a.m. and till 9 a.m. Thank, Thank you, you. Bonsacor, for doing that. Yeah. We appreciate that. That's good. Thanks. Thank you, Doc. Good, good segment.